Hey guys, I'm Big Mike, and like always, I'd like to thank you for being here today. Uh, today we've got a uh, Ask Me Anything session with Top Step Trader and uh, Michael Patak. He's here to answer any questions that you may have. There's no prepared presentation, and we're going to limit this session to about 30 minutes. Uh, there's an AMA thread on BMT that's full of a lot of questions and answers from Mike. You can find that thread by uh, doing a search for AMA space Top Step Trader. And I will post the recording of this session in that thread a couple of hours after the, uh, the uh, session is done. All right, guys, go ahead and start uh, typing your questions in right now. And I'm going to turn control over to Mike. All right, Mike, you should have control. Uh, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, kind of open this up to any questions, as Mike said. Uh, anything that has to do with the Top Step Trader program, I'm willing to answer here. Uh, we do this each week on at Tops of Trader in what we call in the know. Uh, I will show you my screen. I don't really have too much to show you guys on my screen, so we can just take questions. Great. All right. Let's see what we've got on the screen right now. Chris Basically, is... we, I think a lot of the questions came down to the, the combine changes, and we, we basically didn't change much at all except dropping the combine to – uh, 10 day or 20 day with the exact with the with the same objective that the 10 day used to be. So <clears throat> if you're in a 10 day combine prior and uh, you had the uh, the objective of that combine, we now give you 20 days to do that same objective, and uh, that's why we dropped the minimum. Uh, it was uh, it was beneficial and 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 what we saw and the statistics we saw, and then another thing that we did we just changed wording around. And we called things combine rules rather than scouting evaluation. We noticed that everybody uh, at Big Mike's forum and, and uh, elsewhere were calling uh, the evaluation or, or whatever rules. So we just called them. We ended up just calling them rules, which basically are sound rules you, any trader should have in his trading plan about having a loss limit, uh, <clears throat> uh, a max drawdown, uh, winning day percentage, things like that, ba basic metrics that you would want to uh, uh, have as your core foundation. So, all right, let's take a look at questions. Chris is asking uh, that after you, he says after you pass the combine and then you're trading, uh, then trading with your own money as an option. I, I I think he means trading with your money, top steps money. Uh, does this mean that you can use your own money as a cushion? So I'm I'm not sure, Chris. I guess okay. you're actually asking if you can give top step money. Is that what you're asking? Here's a, I can I can clarify that real quick. Top Step Trader, for one, will not be your backer. You will be backed by an equity partner. That's usually a prop firm. Uh, that's who your backer is. Top Step Trader is the educator, the the recruiter, the uh, the uh, scouting agency that that's looking to discover traders that have their stuff put together and uh, that have discipline. Uh, so. Uh, that is, I think that's the answer. And then when you do go over to the equity partner, we will never, ever, ever ask you to put trading capital into your account, nor do we want your capital. What we want is your talent, and that's what Top Step Trader found. That's why we work with the equity partners, because we created the program so that we could find the talent, we can supply them the talent, or feed them the talent, and uh, what that talent does after that, you know, is up to them, and the opportunity is still there. So that's what we provide. Robert is asking, he says, I remember saying, remember you saying about three weeks ago that in order to get funded, if a trader goes live, uh, the last four or five traders he's seen go live have all been completed in May. And is this because most traders have to take live prep now? I, ugh, I, I'm, I think I may have really messed that question up, but I, I think he's asking about the number of, of uh, traders that pass the combine that end up doing a live prep before they get funded? The live prep we found is very, it's, it's about 50-50. Uh, sometimes 60-40 leaning towards you might uh, be doing live trader prep. The reason why we do this is to make sure we, there are some combines where what we call pop shots, where they had a big day, and, but they performed well. And we want, to, we want them to continue moving forward, and it's our way of saying, all right, uh, you're continuing to move forward, and the live trader preparation, these are the exact same rules that you would have if you were trading on a live-funded account. You have either no profit target 
or uh, uh, or we'll cut that in half or make it very uh, uh, very very low. So we are focusing on their downside and seeing if they continue to have patience because again we're looking for disciplined traders. Uh, so you showed us that you had the upside in your fundamentals and in, in, in the combine. If you do go to LT Pep or live trader preparation, it is basically prepping yourself to become a live trader. Okay. Uh, Graham asking. It also, it also makes the it, it also makes the change to to live that, uh, easier as well for some individuals. All right. Uh, asking if there's any plans to roll practice accounts uh, into Ninja Trader Seven. Roll practice accounts into Ninja Trader Seven. I don't know exactly. All I know is we're working on Ninja Trader. We have beta testers on it. I figured I was going to get one of those questions too, but uh, I'll jump the gun on that. Uh, we have Ninja Trader that we are have a handful, well, not a handful, well, quite a few people on beta testing it right now. We do have a little bit of bugs in it, but that is common. That's why it's a beta test. Anybody that had issues uh, has been refunded, so that's not a problem either. Uh, and uh, things are progressing with that, and we're looking to uh, get that uh, launched live here very soon. The, uh, the more feedback we get from our beta, beta testers, the quicker. Uh, uh, Mears can uh, get our stuff uh, right. okay. tweaked up. And if somebody wants to beta test that right now, can they do it, or do you have a, a, a limited? It's, it, yeah, it's invite only right now. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jameson asking for trading with Top Step and Ninja Trader. Uh, how does the data feed compare to the T4 data feed? Uh, the what? Okay, trading with Top Step Trader and Ninja Trader. Well, we're beta testing that value. We have no problems with the feed. The feed is is identical. From what I'm hearing, the feed is identical. Uh, CTS and the T4, uh, a group over there, have an exceptional data feed too. We've never had a problem with that. Uh, so I believe the the only like little issues that that I hear, and it just changes weekly because they fix them and then little new ones kind of pop up, would be kind of. Uh, orders that are, are are having little issues uh, not being displayed or something in filled boxes or working boxes, things like that. We're just try, dotting all I's, crossing all T's, and making sure that the experience is, is the same both in the combine as it is uh, on the live side of things. Okay. Uh, Viraj asking, he says, recently an attempt was made to roll out Ninja, uh, but it was then canceled. So you're you're saying that right now, that uh, it's not canceled. There's several or a lot of people running the beta. It's invite yeah. only, but yeah. it's definitely not canceled. It is happening. It's it's. You know. I believe we did a uh, an invite three weeks ago, something like that, uh, and we invited it. That that first wave uh, is giving us a lot of great feedback, so that's great. So that's what we're working on right now, and we'll be adding probably another beta test invite uh, here in the coming weeks. And then hopefully that should tweak up everything, and then and then we'll be able to go live. It's just the, the natural progress of, of rolling out a new, uh, if you want to call it, product platform, I guess. Right. Okay. Theo is asking, are the combine rules and parameters similar to those of prop shops and institutional traders? The combine that we created was how I learned and how a group of us did learn uh, way back when. It wasn't... Uh, Let's see, exactly what I had when I first started was, all right, you're hired, here's the desk, sit down. And I already came off of losing about $90,000. So I was out of money, so I needed to find a backer because I did love trading, and I wanted to make it a career. So uh, for me, uh, they said, uh, and this was everybody in the group, there's 15 of us in a room, and they said, here's your desk. I think it was $1,000 a month desk fees that just got pulled out of your account. Here's a $300 daily loss limit on the simulator. Show us a $300 daily average. If you hit the loss limit, that that two uh, shows a two three hundred dollar daily average on the uh, trading average in in a two week period, and if you hit that uh, that three hundred dollar daily loss limit, then that two weeks starts all over. So it teaches you to stop. So it just basically, I mean, the whole the whole nature of the combine, the whole nature of what we were taught at prop shops is telling is teaching people to watch your downside, not uh, not to focus on money because making money is a side effect of of becoming a good trader, and that's the thing that we want people to focus on is discipline, uh, risk management, uh, patience, all that stuff that they do teach you in prop shops. Uh, that is stuff that that is taught basically here, and it's not really taught so to speak. It's in the rules of the combine, which basically we want you following, and the more you follow the rules, the more uh, it will become a habit or natural to you. 
And also, right. and also there are prop shops out there that, that require capital, so, you know, that's something that we don't do as well. So, right. if we're comparing prop shops. Okay. Um, so, guys, just a reminder, go ahead and type your questions if you have them. So, Mike, in the, uh, in the AMA thread on BMT, I noticed that there, a, a lot of people seem to not use Sierra Chart. Any idea why that is? I'm just curious. <laughs> Not use Sierra charts because I mean Sierra. Is, Sierra's been available right from day one. It's yeah, got the CTS yeah. feed. It's got the DOM. It's got the charting. It's got the chart trader. So I mean, it just uh, strikes me as a little interesting. Any ideas what people are telling you the reasons they don't use it? Uh, I actually hear people do use it. I don't hear people. I don't hear anybody knock it at all. I hear people like actually like uh, are, are they request it. That's one of the reasons why it was added to the site. Um, so I, I haven't heard anything negative from it, to tell you the honest truth. Uh, so I don't, I don't hear anything as far as negativity, and, and I do hear people requesting it, and that's what I think in a scout meeting we had. Uh, we said, yeah, we just want to be a plat It's a platform we wanted, uh, wanted to have added. So we worked out a uh, three-month uh, uh, free uh, partnership with uh, Sierra. So when you come to the program, if you're if you're new, uh, you get a three-month Sierra. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. I, I didn't even know that. That's yeah. good. All right, let's see. Um, we were shooting for six months for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly wants to know about uh, uh, using multi-charts or TradeStation, and let me go ahead and just throw in any other platform of any kind that uh, you guys don't support. What, what's your answer on how to do that? Uh, we are adding those, and we have uh, we brought on a, a, a pretty spectacular team, uh, people that have experience adding these different asset classes and different platforms with different big name firms uh, and so we're working with them to get us in the right position to start adding we'll be adding different asset classes so I mean, option forex and, and equities someday all this kind of stuff that is in the pipeline uh, right now and most importantly we're, we're trying to get people more bat ball and gloves that they that they like and actually use and that's trading platforms so ninja trader is the most requested one so that is something we've been uh, working on uh, right. the hurry up and wait business and uh, <clears throat> we have uh, other ones that we're working on as well right. and but we're going to just talk about uh, the one that's closest and that's ninja right now sure yeah I mean ninja, ninja trader is hands down the most popular um, Okay, so but 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 even so, let's say that somebody is using a different platform like MultiCharts or TradeStation. They love the charts. Okay, all they have to do is just use a different platform with a DOM. Okay, you don't need to chart with the other platform. You yeah. could use T4 for the DOM. You could use Sierra for the DOM. You could very soon use Ninja and just have the DOM itself, right? And then maintain your own charts. Yeah, and that's exactly what a lot of people do. A lot, a lot of people do that because they'll have. We'll get screenshots all the time, and and we get afforded it on because some of them are pretty cool. Uh, and people have charts from trade state. I've seen trade stage because you can see the title bar and, and what they're using. And then they have the T4 dome or dom uh, ladder. We call it the ladder two here on the trading floor. Uh, the uh, uh, they have that to execute. Now you know, I guess for those that want to trade from charts, great. But I mean. There's not too many people, and I'm talking specifically about our program, and I know a lot of brokerage firms that are scalping the market. So being that quick isn't really that big of a deal. It's more analyzing, finding your levels, uh, waiting for those levels, waiting for things to align, waiting for the market to come to you, uh, and then you know. So working in order in the in the dome, whether that's the T4 one or when Ninja comes up, you can use whatever charts you want. You can. Uh, I mean, we have people that have their chat a chat room up. Uh, you know, probably in Big Mike's forum, uh, uh, chatting or talking in there, and then have our chat room where they chat uh, what's happening in the market and hear the broadcast. I mean, a lot of people can do different things, but your execution is what we're watching, and what you have on your screen is, is up to you. Right. Okay. Uh, and so, you know, recently between between the last AMA we did and and this one, we also uh, you guys gave us the ability to offer twenty percent off uh, to any elite member for the yeah. first combine. So uh, for the guys here that are, uh, you know, elite members, definitely check that out. You can yep. save some money. Um, definitely. So, uh, Mike, I, I noticed, like you said at the top, a lot of people were asking questions about the, the new combine rules. And, you know, I thought, I mean, it seemed to me that you made it easier, but a lot of people didn't like it. 
Any any idea what the uh, the negative pushback was on all this? Uh, I don't think we're going to fit with everybody all the time, and, and I understand that. I, it would be kind of impossible to create a program that fit with everybody. But what we're going to do, we do, we, we drop the minimums because uh, it wasn't beneficial to the development of recruits in any measurable way. So basically what we said is if you want more time, we're giving you the exact same objective of a 10-day, but we're going to allow you to do it in 20 days. So the, 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 the job, uh, your first step when you come to the top of the trader is basically deciding uh, is kind of our little test to see what type of trader you are. Are you a patient trader or are you an impulsive trader? Uh, the 10 and 20 day it, it, for the uh, the same objective, you're, it's going to be a heck of a lot easier doing it in 20 days. You have 60 calendar days to, to do the same objective that you, you would do in 10, uh, uh, 10 days. So that's to us. Uh, it worked out. Uh, we can measure that kind of stuff, and uh, it uh, it's effective uh, giving them more time. And that's that that we found out was effective. So giving them more a choice in the very beginning of more time, or you know enter a ten day combine. You know we figured that was a good move. And what what, what was the rule again on the minimum number of days that you have to trade? What was on the? It, it didn't like a, it, yeah. So there was so is that that's that's changed. So the I mean. I, I know before that there was a minimum number of days out of the X days that you had to trade. So how do, so now how does that work? So now it's basically you have 10 trading days. And a trading day is when you get a fill. So again, back to the scenario of letting the market come to you. If the market actually comes to you, fills you on your working order, now you're filled, whether it's one trade or a thousand trades in that day, uh, that would be a trading day. If it does not fill you and you have a working order, that does not count as a trading day. There, that that wouldn't cost or wouldn't uh, hurt you or, or help you. Uh, it just did not get filled, so that right. wouldn't count as a trading day. So, ten trading days and thirty calendar days, okay. or twenty trading days and sixty calendar days okay. is is how we review. So you have a choice to, to choose the days you want to trade or let the market come to you. Okay. So uh, to answer Luke's question, Luke is asking, if you hit your target in two days, can you uh, uh, just do the minimum to satisfy the combine objective? So I, I'm not sure what he means by minimum, yeah. but he would have to trade X number of additional days to show that, you know, he has a plan <laughs> other yeah. than just uh, shooting from the hip and getting lucky, right? Yeah, and here, here's basically I want to clarify. The, in the combine rules, and these are uh, the rules uh, that – we just we change the name and just call them combine rules. You must uh, you must trade the required number of days of the combine. So if you do hit that four thousand dollar day and, and you met your uh, you met your profit uh, uh, target, uh, you still need to you still need to meet the goal or right. not the goal the, the rules. The rules right. is to complete that. It's also not to hit your loss limit, not to exceed right. uh, your max drawdown. Uh, things like that. So, so he's 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 asking. This makes a good point. I've seen a lot of people ask this, and I think it's worth answering in detail. Um, so he says, "What if he just trades, you know, one tick uh, on on all the remaining days?" So obviously that would not be a trader that you're looking to fund, right? I mean, I don't mean well, to speak for you. Yeah, it's not going to show us you're consistent, and you're getting evaluated, and that's the you're getting you're getting an opportunity. And the opportunity is to show us you can trade, so then we can put you in front of an equity partner. Uh, basically, we take your trade report, uh, your profile. We show it to them. They say okay. And basically, anything we send to them, they they st now they now sign off on. So that's not a problem. So it, it's it's one of those that if you want to scratch that, you're going to have a phone call with either the director of scouting or a senior scout at the very end of it, saying, "Hey, nice combine, but right." And then they're going to go into that. Uh, right. So it's two different. It's kind of like two different objectives, right? So I've seen people as they're coming up near the end of the combine. They uh, sometimes they just have a goal of passing the combine in order to do a rollover so that it's free, right? Yep. So you know you're not. I mean that's 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 fine. But if you mm -hmm. if you want to get funded, then uh, you should be prepared for two things, right? One is live trader prep is a is a chance that you're going to hit that possibility, yes. and you certainly can't do you know one tick days on that and expect to get funded, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, are you gonna are you, are you gonna do that live? And that's what that's the whole the whole thing about that is when you get funded, are you just gonna have a pop shot and do one ticks after that? So, I, we've had people try to game the system or do whatever. Not saying right. that that's what's happening here, but it's basically you come in. Uh, there's the combine rules. Uh, you follow the rules. You make no money, but you follow the rules. You'll, right. you'll get your com you'll get your refund. You'll be refunded your deposit or 
95% of people roll it over. Uh, and then if you follow the rules and profit, you're getting reviewed. Right. And you're, that's, that's, that's the opportunity. And, and it helps those, it retains the, the, those that take it serious and are following the rules and lets them get another chance to right. naturally make, make the profit target. So if you can't naturally make your profit target, you need to size down. In, in your position and size down in your combine. And we have a $30,000 combine with a three lot. You can basically have a trading average of uh, $75 a day in a 20 day combine and as a trading average. And, and you'll be in, in the, uh, be eligible to get funded. So that's something that you, know, you need to take strong consideration because if you can't trade small, you can't trade big and you want to be naturally making the profit target so that's something right. that we try I've to seen, push. you know, as you know, there's a lot of journals on VMT uh, mm -hmm. that are people in combines. I mean, there's, I don't even know how many, but a whole lot. And uh, so I see all kinds of different strategies and things. And I think ultimately, you know, to answer Luke's question, it comes down to what your objective is at the end of that combine. If you're just trying to get rollover, then, you know, maybe you need to have a one tick trade, <laughs> right, to satisfy mm -hmm. the minimum number of days, but, you know, still get your rollover. But uh, you know, if you're if you're trying to get funded, um, and you know you're going to get reviewed, uh, expect expect different things. You know, you gotta you gotta be realistic. You gotta not game the system, for lack of better words, right? So well, you're not helping. Yeah, you're not going to help yourself at all because if we're if you're a top trader, we're, we're here for a reason, and you're here for a reason. So let's work on that. Let's get better. Uh, and this is the opportunity for us to get better in a safe environment that has a little bit of a sting. If you screw up, it has a little bit of a sting, but it doesn't have a ten, fifty, or ninety thousand dollar sting like right. I like I had. I mean, a lot of people. We we had emails from people quarter million dollars, million dollar uh, sure. uh, sure. stings, and that's something that should not. You shouldn't need to take that big a loss. Uh, let's put more hours and deliberative practice in a safe environment. And, and get ourselves in a position where we can confidently enter the market right. uh, in a way that justifies us even being there. Right. And, I mean, you, you know this because I've told you before, but that, that actually is one of the key points that uh, attracted me to Top Step Trader yeah. and, and why I invited you guys on to be a sponsor and, and all that stuff is because I see this, you know, I, I'm stepping back from the big, you know, 9,000-foot view or whatever, and I see all these traders on the forum over the last four years, you know, 40,000 people. And um, I see all these patterns and things, and I think that even if you completely remove, I, I know this isn't your objective, Mike, but if you completely remove the funding aspect of the program, it's really a, a really good tool that is pretty unique in the industry in order to help you hone your skills as far as discipline and risk, which are you know, really paramount. Uh, you, said it at the, you said it at the top, but it's, it bears repeating. People that focus on risk are generally the ones that are going to become good traders or at least in it for the long haul whereas people people that focus on profit and how much money they can make uh those are the ones that are that are feeling the most pain and uh you know usually fail at some point or quit you know due yep. to the uh the stress you said exactly true i mean if the focus becomes making money or meeting a target uh the lessons are successful but they'll be short lived and yeah. you pro it'll provide you a little consistency and I think we all. I I was at a point in in my career where where you know to get to that next step, you, you know, it's it's slow. It's it's brick by brick building. It's not anything fast. You know the whole lure of of get rich quick. It doesn't really exist in trading at all. It's the hardest way to make easy money though. <laughs> but <Yeah>. it's. Uh, <laughs> so what? How how much is the uh, what is the cheapest combine? How much is that? Uh, let me see. I'm on the website. Um, one hundred seventy-five. Okay, so uh, thirty thousand dollar combine. All right, so somebody can spend one hundred seventy-five dollars. They've got, you know, let's say they they uh, do one combine a month. Okay, and uh, you know, so one hundred seventy-five dollars is what is at risk, and they could stand to learn a lot about themselves, well, yeah, right. their method, the psychology. Yes. Money yes, and, and, and each month, if you're just following the rules, the, the top the trader will never cost you a dime if you follow the rules. We've had people in here that have done that. Uh, we have people that, everybody that's ever been in our chat room, anybody with a blue badge has rolled over a combine, if not once or multiple times. 
Uh, that's the whole program is to is to say follow the rules and 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 perform. And there's the I read in a paper the, the American dream was following rules and performing. I read that in a paper at the airport a while ago, and I'm like, well, that's kind of what we try to push with with the combine is follow rules and perform, and the opportunity is there. And that's what we worked out with the equity partner to make sure that that thing was that that was all put together where we could do that. So regarding the rollover, do, is there a time limit? You know, on how soon somebody has to start their new role over or uh, no there's not we, we actually have a pretty good relationship with a lot of people that do consistently roll over because they'll say hey I'm gonna take some time off uh, I'm gonna go on vacation with the family and then they, uh, if I come back and I start uh, you know November no okay. problem uh, okay so. so that's 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 cool that's good gives you a chance to learn from the uh, from your mistakes or learn from yeah. you know what you did good or, or bad the last time and built on it yep. so yep. There's many times where I've wanted to step away from this business for for a period of time. So, yeah. <laughs> oh man, it. you don't have to tell me. I'm I'm going on my ver first vacation in eight years. Uh, oh, nice. In nice. the end of September. Uh, eight cr years. Wow, that's a. I, yeah. I thought mine. I just got back from uh, Scandinavia. Did that with my brother, and that was a three years <laughs> I haven't been on vacation. All right. So Chris is asking. He says, "Hey, if I have a technical platform platform glitch, uh, is there a trade desk or equivalent that he can call?" to cancel an open order position or fix a problem that could hurt his combine? You can contact uh, our support team. If it's during normal hours, you can jump in the room. We have a support room uh, in the chat room. Uh, we can fix all things uh, in, in the combine because we are you are trading something that we can easily edit up and fix up for you if that is the case and, and put you back in that position. Uh, you can't really put yourself back into a position in the live markets, but we can do certain things uh, with this. So you'll be okay. So, yeah. And, and obviously, whatever Just whatever that is, in. make sure that let doesn't happen right in live, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that, and and let us know. The quicker you let us know, the, the, the better that is, so then we can, we can uh, uh, duly note it. Okay. And so that brings up another point. Maybe most people haven't don't know this or haven't considered it, but it's worth uh, pointing out. So whatever platform, you know, Ninja, Sierra, T4, whatever it is, as far as that platform is concerned, even in just a regular, you know, $175 combine, okay, not funded, that platform is set up with uh, credentials that Top Step Trader provides that uh, it, for all intents and purposes looks like a real live cash account to the platform, not a locally simulated account, okay? And then that, that's how that, that information for each transaction gets transmitted to Top Steps traders, uh, servers, sorry, and, uh, and tracked. So just pointing that out for anybody that, that knows, you know, that it's not local sim. It, it is tracked similarly to a cash account. We tell you actually to turn off that local sim. You have to have that checked where I think, I think it's checked where you do not, checked or unchecked, one or two, where you, where you do not have the simulator because we're giving you an account just like there's money in it. Right. Rick is is asking uh, again if you could go over the the details on how to get a rollover. So you know what what rules do you have to meet to get that rollover? Well, I got the uh, the combine page right here, and it basically if you adhere to the combine rules, your your the com your combine deposit will be eligible for a rollover or refund. A rollover is just hey, I do another month, and we just talked about that. Hey, I want to do it in November, great, or I want to do it today or tomorrow or whatever. Uh, but the combine rules, you can click that to view them. But they're they're basic. Only trade the permitted products, and there's a there's a list of those. Trade the, the required number of days. Uh, you can go to you know topsetrader.com slash rules to see this as well. Uh, must achieve a winning day percentage of 50% or greater. Largest losing day cannot hit or exceed your daily loss limit. So that's do not hit your loss limit. In this example that I'm showing you guys on the screen, I, that I'm selecting a $30,000 combine with a $500 loss limit. Uh, <clears throat> you can't exceed $500. So here's the rules for those that are seeing the screen, uh, and that's what we're looking for you to follow. Right. And you follow you follow this, and you you make one dollar. Have a trading average greater than zero. Uh, you make one dollar. Uh, you know you can roll over or say, hey, you know what? Uh, thanks, top the trader, but I'm going to move on or whatever. Okay. It's, you know that's our. And it, it it used to be, I think, that you had to have like three out of these rules or something like that. Is it is that still? Uh, yeah. You, well, the the. Uh, the metrics, uh, each product traded must have a trading average greater than zero and meet at least two of the performance okay. rules listed. That's what it and, is. Yeah, that's in there. Gotcha. Okay, so you could take any two of those three metrics. 
And again, these metrics, guys, you've, you've seen these on the trade reports that we send out all the time. Those that meet the, the, the profit or those that are doing well always are meeting these metrics. Most of them meet all three of them. But this is one thing, this is one reason why we put it in there because we said, man, everybody's succeeding. This is two or three years ago. Everybody's succeeding is uh, their winning days or, or their average winner is greater than average loser and the amount of time they're holding that's greater. And they typically have a, a win percentage greater than 45. Okay, let's have everybody start focusing on that. Right. And that, that's, you just focus on that and make a dollar and you can keep rolling over. And naturally, if you didn't even watch your profits uh, and then you just waited for a phone call from TST, you could be, you could be at our program and and right. naturally make put up the profits instead of focusing on money only. What about uh, the custom combines? How many how many of those would you say you get? Is it a lot? Is it few? Yeah, we get we get a lot, but a lot of them are fairly. I don't want to use the word ridiculous, but some of them get to unrealistic. Know, yeah, <laughs> unrealistic. I you know I want to make a thousand dollars, and I want to be you know or. Some of them say I want to make five hundred dollars. So certain things like that. We're we're tweaking that up, and you're going to see those tweaks here shortly. Basically, you'll be able to call in and talk to somebody, and you'll be able to discuss that over the call, so we can quickly uh, let you know what's realistic and what's not. Uh, but we get about fifteen proposals per week, uh, roughly around there, of different uh, customs. If can you more. can you give us an idea of, of what a good custom proposal might contain? Uh, good custom proposal. Well, we have people that say, "All right, I don't, I don't want to do any of those metrics." And when you, when we're talking about a custom proposal, we're talking about customizing your combine, basically customizing the rules of your combine. And we just, I have up here on the screen the the rules. You could customize these. You can exclude everything. You can have no metrics whatsoever. And uh, the only thing you cannot remove is your loss limit and your max drawdown. Uh, you can have a profit only type thing. Uh, you can have, hey, I want to do every one of these rules, and if you do, every, add, if you do all these rules, let's just say, I'm going to think about what, what else we have. Max, uh, consecutive max winners are going to be greater than your consecutive max, max losers. If you say all that's going to happen, you keep lowering your profit uh, amount that you have to achieve to get reviewed. So, you know, if you basically say, I'm, I'm, I am a very fundamental trader, and you know, all my statistics are really good. Uh, then you'll bet you can lower your profit target and and have an easier chance of of achieving you know what you want to achieve. Right. Okay. Uh, looks like uh, we have one last question. Luke is asking what the average risk reward ratio is for a funded trader. I'd say one and a half to one. Around there, typically, and then the guys that are at the senior level, they well, start one to and a half for reward to one yeah. risk. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and uh, the uh, the senior guys, I mean, they start opening it up a little bit because they build a cushion in their account. When you first start on a uh, uh, trading, and, and even if you're a top trader or anything, your goal is to survive. It's it's not to p p make a bunch of money, uh, and you want to get you, you know you want to survive. You want to get yourself into position. And we talk to we talk to every trader, a director of scouting does as well, uh, that comes on a funded account to say build it brick by brick. Take your time. You've earned this opportunity, uh, and then the guys that do build a brick by brick get past two, three, four, five thousand dollar profits. That's when you know they say, "All right." Typically, a lot of them don't change because if you're if you're doing something that's working, you don't change and you don't stack on it because psychologically that's different than what you were where you were at. Uh, your skill level is pretty sound, and if you can get that balance and even keel, you can do pretty well. Uh, but others have decided, you know, have ramped things up or will. Put on a uh, position, take half of it off, ride that one, uh, do do di different things rather than the one and a half to one type uh, uh, reward to risk. Gotcha. All right, so we have everybody's questions answered on the on the screen, but I have just one last thing that I want to ask before we go. Um, so uh, John uh, Hoagland, uh, his new title is uh, director of scouting. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So is it? Uh, I've seen that. Is he the one that primarily makes the uh, the calls once uh, combines are reviewed? I, it seems to he be talks. his name always comes up. <laughs> he, yeah, he talks to them. He is uh, what would it be like your Joe Paterno? If you were, you were on the Yankees, okay. he would have been your Joe Paterno, the guy who's talking to the new uh, recruit coming up for the minors. So that's basically he's talking to them, finding out uh, a bit more. Uh, and then he works directly with the equity partner as well. So, so okay. So that call happens for anybody that uh, that you know passes the the combine and is eligible for a review. Is it right? 
Uh, excuse me, what was that? Sorry, you cut off. That jo John uh, makes that phone call for anybody that's eligible for a yes. review? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Sometimes we have other scouts that do it too, but uh, typically John is the, the main man. Gotcha. I don't know if he's going to like being compared to Joe Paterno. Not Joe Paterno, <laughs> Joe uh, uh, Tory. <laughs> I call him Joe Paterno. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. And um, for anybody that has other questions, just go to BMT and you can ask those questions in the AMA thread and, and Mike monitors that and he'll post the replies. All right, guys. Thanks, Mike. I'll uh, see you back on the forum soon. All right. Thanks for having me on, Mike. Thanks, everyone. Sure. See ya.